Welcome back to Anno1800 for another stamp video. In the last video, in case you missed it, we covered steel, steel beams and weapons culminating into this amazing layout you can see over here where you have all of them inside a trade union. And so with that, we are basically done with the worker productions. So we're going to move to artisans. And with artisan, I felt it was good to start with the one that is the most hated one and food. This is one of the first complex production at this point in the game, also because it requires a lot of new resources. Often you don't have that fertility on your main island, so you need to start having a second island. And lastly, this is actually a production that loses money. So, you know, even if you give it to your people, you're going to lose money, which is why most people hate it. You're going to need beef from the cattle farms. You're going to need red peppers from the red pepper farms. Putting that into an artisanal kitchen to make some goulash and then add some iron to the goulash to make some canned food in a cannery. Just before we dive into the 10 perfect layout and stamp that I have for you on the canned food, I did want to mention one thing. It's not because you haven't loaded the canned food that you have to make it. Usually my suggestion is wait until this is the last good remaining for you to move to engineer before you do it. Don't do it before, there's no point. Apart from that, remember that in the video description below, you can find the link to join my Discord community. This is completely free. And of course, on top of being able to chat with myself and many other Anno fans, strategy fans, you can also find all of those stamps for free there. But if you want to contribute to the channel, don't hesitate to also check my new Patreon page. You can also find the link in the video description below. Joining there can give you access to tons of benefits. But for everybody else, let's dive in. The first one is your basic all-in-one production stamp. I've also put it next to an Iron Man. Of course, if you don't have an Iron Man or if your Iron Man is further away, that's also okay, right? But remember, you will need iron. Now with this one, we'll be able to produce two canned food per minute with perfect ratio on the goulash, on the pepper, on the beef, and you're even producing more iron than needed with just one mine. This is coming from three of those canneries over here. Then we have four of these artisanal kitchen there, four of these beef, farms on the side and then four of these red pepper farms over here. This is a perfect rectangle with all of the farm at 108 except one which is at 107. Then in the middle we have two warehouses, the police station and the fire station. So all included, you really shouldn't have any problems. So while this is the most basic one, it's already slightly complex. There's a lot of different productions, a lot of different ratios, in particular, for example, the three of these for four of these. Make sure that, you know, you have the right numbers. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if, you know, you have any question about this. But yeah, this is the normal canned food production. Then I'm going through a number of different ones. Some dedicated, some with trade unions. No particular order, to be honest. So the second one over here is a mixed trade union where you have both the cannery and you have the artisanal kitchen. Right? All of these are in the radius, as you can see. This is, in my opinion, the maximum number that you can put. You can see there's some smart roads, for example, over here, you know, this one is only accessible for this road, this, this one is accessible for that road, and all of these, you know, are really at the limit of the trade union radius. But now, if you don't have any working condition or items, you're already at seven with a slight underproduction of the goulash. So you'll definitely want, for example, to increase slightly the working condition, even if you don't have items. And of course, then you'll need all of the inputs, like the iron, the beef, and the pepper. Now the next one has the image of a pig and now it's not a mistake, we're actually going to have pigs in what is basically my favorite stamp of today because this is a stamp where you're not going to have goulash and beef. Why? Because we have a trade union over here and in this trade union it's going to be very important to put a special item which is Chef Michel. One of the favorite items for everybody, it affects the canneries. Instead of the goulash, the building will process pigs. So instead of needing beef and pepper to make the goulash, there's already a lot of space. Instead, you're just going to need pig. So now if I look at my canneries, right, I have the iron and just the pig. And with that, I'll make the canned food, which is why, you know, this is a layout where you already have everything except the iron. But, you know, if I have an iron deposit over here, I just need the rod and then I'm done. Why? Because we have a lot of canneries, but we also have a lot of pig farms with silos over there. And those silos need the grain and the grain is over here and over there. So we are able to produce everything needed right in there. We're talking about 12 canned food per minute. This is already really a lot without any items except Chef Michel or working condition or thing like this. We're already at 12 per minute of the can. You know, on top of this, we're also producing six sausages thanks to Chef Michel once again. 
So that's a great one. We have enough pig. So even if you put the working condition higher, for example, on the canned food, you should be fine on the pig. We have enough of wheat, right? So we just need, as I said, to bring some iron. All of the canneries are in range of the trade union, but also the two farms. For example, if you don't have the wheat fertility on this island, don't worry. You can also put an item to fix that. Then we have a number of warehouses, right? In all of the corners, definitely enough police station and fire station. Both of the grain farms are not at 144, but don't worry, that's totally fine because we don't need them to work at 100% given the number of silos that we have. So yes, I'm really proud of this one. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. You know, have you used something like this? Have you created the exact same without me knowing? Love to hear your thoughts. And of course, again, don't hesitate to download it on the Discord community. Okay, I said that was my favorite one, but don't worry, we still have some very cool ones coming up. First one is just normal cannery dedicated trade union for the canneries. As you can see over here, they're all in range. We're talking about 20 canneries, so that's 13 per minute. Now, if you don't have any items, you're back to needing the goulash, but you can still put Chef Michel if you want, obviously, all right? And now we're back to actually needing the pig, right? And in this case, you know, you may want to take one of the sausage stamp that I showed you in the past, like a dedicated pig trade union like this, and now you're making enough pigs for sure. If you need to make some goulash, you're gonna need a lot of beef. And there's actually a few other times you may want beef, for example, for lifestyle needs. So I've also created some beef layout. The first one is very simple, not that great to be honest, because there's no police station or fire station or those type of things. So it's not fully really optimized. But what's great with something like this is you can easily duplicate it, right? I have way more. And then you can always have, you know, a couple of those fire station on the corner like this, and they will cover everybody. And these cattle farm actually have access to a silo, all of them. So we're talking about quite a bit of production, right? We're at 21 for something like this. But again, this is quite basic, not optimized, right? You see the number of roads, that's not so great. So let's move into dedicated trade union. The first one without silo, as you can see, we have all of those farms in range of the silo. I don't know if this is the most perfect, to be honest. It took me a bit of time to play with them, trying to move. For example, over here, you can see I managed to put four next to each other, but on that side, they're a bit spread apart. It is almost a rectangle. We have also fire station and police station, a number of warehouses in the corners, but this is without silos. So the production is actually not that huge. It's only eight, but that's something you can build right away. You know, nothing is preventing you from building it. Even if you don't have influence, you can put, you know, the trade union in blueprint mode, but everything else is ready for you. The next one is similar, but with silos. This one I feel is even more optimized, also a pretty cool rectangle. I haven't put the warehouses, fire station, police station, but you have the space. You can definitely put them. I didn't put them because I wasn't sure if you wanted to put, for example, a second one over here, those type of things. You can do that. But here with this one, we're producing now 19 instead of 8, right? So it's a big jump. It does require a bit of grain, but that's not that much. You know, you can, for example, put them over here, over there, and then cover in the back to make it a perfect rectangle. All of the farms and silos have access to the main roads. As you can see, as soon as we put the fire station, it has access to everything. But now for goulash, you don't just need beef, right? You need beef and pepper. So first of all, let me show you one where you have both of them. It doesn't have police station or fire station, but once again, it's those type of layouts that are very easy, you know, to duplicate like this. And then you can have the police station and fire station in the middle, something like this, for example, you know, you can put one on each side and you'll be perfectly set. Each of these blocks is four buildings, so that's a production of two. So with those four, now we're at production of eight. But it does take quite a bit of space, as you can see, right? Once again, that's why a lot of people don't really like this production. But similar to the beef where we had dedicated trade union, if you really want paper, I'm going to two dedicated trade union. The first one is just the basic one. There is no silos, no tractor, nothing. Right? All of the farms are in the range of the trade union. I think we're talking about 40, if I remember correctly. 44, sorry, 44 paper farms. So even if you don't have any items, working condition, etc., you already have 22 of productions. But that's nothing compared to the fully optimized one that you can see over here where we moved on from 44 to 28 so actually you need even less you know workers and things like this but now we're jumping to 93 of production in exchange you will need a bit of fuel for the tractors and a bit of fertilizer for the silos but this is definitely worth it end game all of the farms are in range of the trade union of course 
And remember that for the tractors, you can also put it very far away. You know, it doesn't have to be close because there's very big range. So it is, ladies and gentlemen, 10 perfect layouts and stamps for you to master the canned food production. With Chef Michel or without Chef Michel, I think I got you covered. You can do it all. You have the goulash production, pepper, beef, and with Chef Michel. So what more do you want? Don't hesitate to smash the like button and I hope to see you next time.